going to start the show a little differently. About six months ago, Jesse and the boys met a special, courageous, genuine hero. We'd like to introduce you to him tonight. If I can have your complete attention. Jackal would like to dedicate tonight's show to all those who put on the uniform and defend our country. For those who never came home and those who did, they all paid a price. Some more than others. My name is Corporal Todd Love, First Recon Battalion, United States Marine Corps. I signed up to be in the Marines because my dad is a Marine and it was like a chance to kind of like almost hold a tradition. Just 20 years old, Todd was serving in Afghanistan on patrol with his platoon until one step changed everything. On October 25th, I stepped on an IED, an improvised explosive device. I lost a good portion of my forearm and I lost both my legs. Um, my femurs are completely gone. When I saw Todd in the hospital for the first time, it was the most gut-riching thing I've ever seen. Uh, just broke my heart to see my son laying there that way. Gary Love and I went to high school together. Gary reached out to me and invited myself and my brothers and Jack to swing by Walter Reed and visit with, with Todd and to walk in and, and experience that reality of what these soldiers are going through. It was a heavy moment for me and, uh, and I live with it every single day. The people of America, most of them don't have a clue about the extent of injuries, how many men are being hurt. Would you uh, get into that? Uh, I can't say. I'd say, when you see a wounded warrior, reach your hand out. Let them know you love them. It's good to meet you. You know, it makes me a proud American. And to be beside Todd Love, who's representing all the wounded warriors and all the troops out there. This is pretty amazing. I'll say it again and again. You cannot afford to turn your back on these guys. Whether they've been injured or not, they're our sons and our daughters. God bless them. Todd Love will be undergoing therapy in Washington for another year. And he is still very much a United States Marine. After all I've been through, I have absolutely no regrets at all. If I can go back and do it again, just to get blown up one more time, I would do it. Life isn't really about legs. Life is about more important stuff. It's mostly about the people you surround yourself with, I guess. And there's one other thing you should know about Todd. I've always wanted to go to Asturias. Um, I think it'd be a dream come true. Jesse surprised me completely with everything that happened. for him. It kind of hit home because my brother-in-law is over in Afghanistan. Um, so, and I want him to get home. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our heroes. I'm sure everybody in the crowd has someone that's real close to them that's over there as well and, and would like them to come home safe as well. We had uh, some of your warriors, we had the Marines come out. Military driven, man, it was just great. The whole crowd embraced it. This 
show had meaning and it fulfillment and the whole tone was set for the for everybody to have a good time together. It kind of bonded everybody in the crowd. Let the 